Today we're at Castle Kailami and we are here for a seminar on learner support and guiding learners in dealing with their barriers, how to cope with studying, how to study better and just solving half their problems. The common ground subject that I could now pick up was how to learn and how should we as educators now actually teach our children how to study and how they should now actually be able to study different backgrounds, no matter what subject, no matter what field, how can they actually now prosper and actually graduate from those different fields, yes. So today we've been watching a few clips now there on the different educational barriers that we may face now as educators. And the main thing that I learned from this was how to combat uh, learning areas and learning barriers from a different perspective than what you normally know and what you normally study from. So for instance now there's the mass learning which is learning level one and then to the gradient learning which is learning level two and then even to the third level which I'm struggling with myself <laughs> which was misunderstanding word and how to actually now read and get definitions on certain words to be able to study the word effectively. For me it was a whole new learning situation. We got to actually analyze the barriers that learners go through and ones that we ourselves go through and it actually created so much understanding as to why I see blank faces in my classroom, why I see the boredom and the kids falling asleep. I see it with my with my matrix. They don't understand a single word in a sentence in a question and they can't understand. They don't answer. So it it makes a difference and being able to work around all of that or through all of that will then help them either refocus or regain their love for the subject. Now one of the examples that we saw in the video was actually using the use of clay and making little models of what they can use now there. So for instance with me in geography I can actually now make a clay ball as a globe and I'm already thinking that I'm going to label that ball so the learner can now actually interact with that globe and they can actually now label it as the North Pole, Tropic of Cancer, and from that they can learn now what the different words mean and have more understanding from that words. To see teachers from different backgrounds, different societies, you know, who have different ideologies, different methods, different techniques, different strategies, come together and actually be a part of creating the tomorrow, you know? Which means that Whatever implementation strategy that the organization comes up with, it will be influenced with voices from all over Gauteng, South Africa, Johannesburg. Then it means it will accommodate learners on a bigger scale. With me being in the position now, it, it gets me very anxious, not knowing if um, whatever I am putting in these kids, whatever I'm teaching these kids, is it worthwhile? Is it going to assist the kids in the future? Will they become great? Obviously as teachers we sit and we can only hope that we will invest good in these kids and they can take whatever we teach them and use it positively to become their better selves. But it, uh, I'm quite anxious and happy at the same time that I stand in this position because trainings like these they actually help us as teachers to understand that we actually play a very, very important role in the lives of South Africans, not only a child, but South Africans because they become the future. As soon as we can get everybody kind of on the same page about it, you can change the school, which means you can change the town, which means you can change the country. And I think that's the amazing thing about having this knowledge. It's like having a little secret. I have kids. So with my kids, I would not want to see anything else but the best. And in every single lesson that I have, I look at the type of education I would love my child to also receive. Being in a training like this speaks to the inner teacher, mother in me, that wants their child to receive proper and quality education. And I would also want to provide the same thing for other kids. It, it redefined who I am as a teacher and person in general. Let's look at one more tool in the many provided within this program. So firstly, we completed the first course of the 19 modules. So we have 19 courses. My team and I came up with a brilliant plan on how we're going to tackle these courses because the aim is to graduate, but not to graduate for the sake of the certificate, but to graduate because we need to apply every single thing that we learn in every single course. This for me is personal development on a hundred because it makes sure that I am ready for those learners when they come in. First day, heads on, I'm ready. 